Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Mandatory Appendix 2, Bolt Load Calculation, for Operating, and, Gasket Seating Conditions. Our flagship course, is Master Static Equipment Design, and PV Elite, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses, to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform, on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now let us calculate, okay? And let us take that operating condition first. What is my operating condition? I have a bolted connection, flange, blind flange. There is gasket and pressure applied, right? This is my operating condition. How much load of the bolt I need to contain this pressure? Okay, it's very, very simple calculation. So, if you understand the M and Y value, you should be able to calculate what you know, we are going to calculate. So, we'll try to derive that, okay, whatever WM1 value is, right? So, now the simple calculation there is pressure applied inside. Now, what load that is the WM1 value I need to have to keep this intact? Simple. Now I'll define that gasket mean diameter G also for you. Okay, G is nothing but the average of ID and OD. So if I have a gasket width B, you can easily calculate the mean diameter of the gasket. Okay. Now, anyone would like to tell me what will be the equation for WM1? The bolt load. Take your time. If you are watching this as a recorded session, stop and try to think. What equation you will form? Simple equation. You know, considering WM1 as a force, now you need one more force which is acting in this direction. And that you know that other is should be in form of pressure. So Padmanathan is saying P into G. P into Z is not a force, Padmanathan. So the one the lead, the is saying H plus HP. I don't need that. I need the formula. I don't want that value which remember. Just in simple terms, we have to derive that H plus HP Duandali. Hydrostatic end force, right, Anuj? But how we'll calculate that? Area into stress. So here, in, in place of stress, what is there? What we know right now is the pressure, right? Pressure is acting as a stress. So if you have already you know, started that value, I can see someone is saying pi g b y w1 into id pi by 4 d square p pressure into area right pi by 4 g square into pressure that is really much then okay great so now why why we there are so many different values okay first of all what See, uh, what is trying to separate these two parts? It's pressure, right? The pressure is applied and it is trying to separate these two. The bolt is trying to keep them together. Okay. So, if I am able to find the pressure, how much force pressure is applying, how I'll get that? If I multiply that pressure into the area on which it is acting, then I'll get the force, right? Any doubt in that? Pressure multiplied, whatever pressure is acting. And see, I don't need area in this direction because that will give me force in this direction. I don't want that. I want the force acting in this direction. So I need the area which is there in this direction. So 
actually that area is if you can see here that id of that gasket right but to being safer side we, it is considered that pressure might be reaching little inside also of the gasket so conservatively it is considered as acting at the mean diameter of the gasket so just assume that pressure is acting till here till the mean diameter of the gasket okay so we have pressure we have the area on which it is acting that area is what guys pressure is p area if i am taking the pressure acting at the mean diameter what will be my area pi pi g square duantali or pi by 4 g square g is the diameter right so pi by 4 and g square right any doubt in that guys pi by 4 g square because sir area of a circle is pi by 4 into diameter square right this is the area of circle so p into pi by 4 into g square right everybody got it it's not pi g b pankaj that maybe we'll talk about the next term okay but that is not pi g b it will come but for different values so right now this is clear to everyone jesus just say yes in the chat box if it is making sense till till here force whatever force is acting because of this pressure that is trying to separate right very simple now apart from that any other factor which is trying to separate or trying to create additional force in this direction m as is very right m gasket factor which acts in the operating condition whether that will so uh, siva is saying m into p so the mp is actually a pressure right it's not a force so if this pressure i multiply in the area or where it is acting right because this mp acts here right if you remember that's what i said if you rem if you understood gasket ratio mp you will be able to calculate the force created by this mp because mp is the pressure multiplied with what will be the area of the gasket because on the same area it will be acting right what will be the area of the gasket pi into b pi into b is not an area Ajay. pi into b is not an area total with 2 into b see what you just see is a cross section right the gasket will be a circular element so if you are finding it difficult what area see the area the black color you see that is the area so if i just cut it here you know if i just trim this gasket here and if i make it uh, make a rectangle of it that will become pi g which is the total length approximately slightly it will be you know taper at the edges but approximately 5 g will be the mean length multiplied with the thickness of the gasket or the width of the gasket not thickness we call we call width b is the width so pi g multiply with multiply it with the width sanjay sharma is absolutely right pi g into the width so pi g b so you can see here pi g b that is the area and mp is the pressure which is applied on this area so area multiplied with pressure will give us the force this will give you the hp the pressure because of this gasket surface compression right? because of the gasket factor right making sense 
guys clear up to this so now there are two forces which are coming so first we calculated as hydrostatic end force and the second is the load due to gasket factor so h hydrostatic end force we got and then we got hp due to pressure which is 2 into pi g into mp if we add these two this will balance with w m1 which is the bolt load okay so now it will become this equation will become equal right w m1 is equal to h plus hp great thank you thank you all so now let us see till now we have covered only one part okay what we have covered we have covered the gasket uh the bold load calculation operating condition now we'll talk about the gasket seating condition getting it we'll talk about the gasket seating condition so here as we know there is no pressure right and we have tightened the bolt load i don't know what is bolt load but if i write the equation i have tightened it it as a at a value where that gasket will get that seating stress y okay now can you write an equation for this if this is my if this is my wm2 what is the opposing force getting created there is no pressure so only force which is acting against this is gasket seating stress so pi gb duandali has written pi bg y that will become the total load so first what will be the see it's very simple in earlier case it was pressure in this case it is stress so this is the stress which is there i'll multiply this stress with the area this area okay again the same thing if the ring am cutting an opening area of that ring will be pi into g into b right pi gb so if pi gb i'll multiply with the stress which it has produced i'll get the force okay and that force will become equal to wm1 so wm uh, m2 not m1 wm2 will become y into pi gb is it clear guys so if you understand this the seating stress will also become really clear if this if you understand this equation okay so finally your wm2 which is a bolt load will become equal to y multiplied with pi gb okay great for in-depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description